So the last time we did an unboxing of a pair of sunglasses was a Brightside Eyewear, the Copeland to be specific. And if you missed it, the link is in the description. And, it's, and it was titled the best pair of sunglasses under $100. And this time we have Millinger Eyewear, all the way from Sweden. Just to give you a brief background about Millinger Eyewear, they're from Sweden, as we told you already. All the style and design are very minimalistic. They were previously on Kickstarter, but their campaign was not funded. But in any way, you can pre-order their sunglasses on their website, which there's a link in the description. And also, all their sunglasses are named after famous scientists, inventors, authors, etc. For example, this one is called the Selma, and it's named after Selma Langeloff, who was a famous author and won the Nobel Prize. So let's get opening. So as you can see, there's again very minimalistic. There's not much in the packaging. Here you have the Millinger Eyewear logo. Very simple. I think this is a hem pack uh, box in a way. Nothing too much. Let's see what's inside. So here you have the pair of sunglasses keep it here and inside you have cleaning cloth and nothing much so let's keep that there so usually on the cleaning cloth you have a logo somewhere but in this case you do not anyway doesn't make a difference big difference I would say so let's keep it here nice and tidy and this is the Selma So the Selma we receive is in black, but you can also get it in maple or brown, depending which one you like. If you look closely, you might think that this is the frame is actually made of wood, but it is not. So it is made of a three millimeter acetate with a matte finish. If you look closely, hopefully the camera will focus in properly. There you go. So you can see here that it does it does have a feel of a piece of wood, but it's not. The reason why they use acetate is because the material is supposed to be durable, strong and flexible so even if you drop it like this, it's not supposed to break. So inside here you have some marking, UV400 polarized and here you have the Millinger name and here if you can see you have just, just a bit here if you can see it probably, here here just the logo of Millinger it's quite hard to get it because it's very very small so one thing I do like about the sunglasses is this metal rod here it just gives it that retro look in terms of the nose padding there's no uh, separate nose padding as you can see with different sunglasses this one is just a continuous look of the frame which kind of blends in and create the nose padding it's very soft to wear we've tried it and it's very soft so it's not gonna hurt you or anything which is pretty nice and here you have the nose where your nose will go to so it just it does go out a bit but nothing to worry about I think it's part of the design so one feature that they have in the lenses is called something called flexi tin so this is supposed to give you a better and more natural look during the sunlight uh, so the lenses will turn into a darker hue so you can see clearer and also if you wear it indoors the lenses will turn into a more shadowy uh, smoky look so you can see perfect inside as well I don't know if you wear sunglasses inside so it will be perfect for you so let's talk about the prices now uh, so this starts around 995 kroners or which is around 125 dollars or 133 euros and 95 pounds personally we think that is very much affordable because what you're getting and compared to the market with sunglasses this is very much affordable plus we do have a disc discount that you can use it is NL only we're gonna leave it in the description so you can use it we do think this is very much affordable for what you're getting and one thing you have to remember this is very durable even if you drop it like this it's not gonna break for example if you drop your designer sunglasses you're gonna be worried but this one not so much 
plus there's not a lot of branding in this very simple looking and it's strong and it's durable so you, have to, you don't have to worry about breaking as we said already plus the frame that we, topic that we forgot to talk about is the frame so it is designed that it is a bit flexible as you can see it's, it's very strong here very strong because if you try to push it out it's quite strong for example if you do with your reading uh, reading glasses or any other sunglasses if you try to push this out it does feel loose but this one is very strong the reason is because it is designed to fit your head so even with a larger head or smaller head it's going to fit properly so this was the Selma from Millinger Eyewear we have done a blog post on this and we're going to leave a link in the description so you can have a proper look and a proper full detail review we're going to leave a link of the website in the description so you can have a look of the different collection that they have in different style again this is a Selma and a different one as well so do have a look the link is in the description and if you missed the unboxing and review of the Brightside Eyewear it's also in the description again don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we have and more unboxing coming soon and also do subscribe to our twitter facebook instagram and pinterest at new labels only where where we are most active every day and one thing that you may notice is this watch here this is the alberta watch all the way from canada we have done an unboxing and we're also going to leave a link in the description if you missed it so thank you for watching see you next time